there are times when you need to use the get tag name method to get the names of tags from you know from process book. Uh, this symbol dot get tag name, uh, where the symbol can either be a trend or a value, that's how we basically get tag names. Now, when you retrieve a tag name like that, it's going to come back in this format. It's going to have the name of the server followed by the name of the tag. And of course, that's appropriate because without the server name, we really don't know which of your many servers, if you have lots of servers, to uh, uh, that you're talking about. So we think it's appropriate to return that. However, sometimes you simply want to retrie retrieve the tag name. For example, if you're putting the results into Excel. Uh, for Excel and Data Link, you don't need the server name. In fact, it'll get in the way. Well, here's an example of a function that you can use that will parse out the tag names. Now, you know, if you're a real good coder, I'm suppose, I suppose you can come up with a better way of doing it. This code fragment is here just to show you uh, that it can be done and to give you uh, a head or leg up on, on getting it done. So here's some code that we suggest you use if you do need to parse tag names. If you're working inside Excel, here's an alternate example. In this case, the alternate example shows how we can make use of the formulas in Excel. Here's this formula specifically to convert what we return into something that's useful. So this would be an example of what we return and then this would be an example of what you actually want. That's the converted value.